Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo, and in this video, you are going to learn about Opal. Opal is a Ruby gem that allows you to convert Ruby code into JavaScript, so you can do everything in one language. So how does Opal work? Well, you can go to the official website, which is this one, opalrb.com, and they have some tutorials in here, and they also have this try option. So if you click on try, you will get this window where you can type regular Ruby code. Now we can do puts one to three. We can run this and we can see the result of the program one to three of course uh, on the right you can see the javascript equivalent of this code and you can use this in any browser and it will just work that's opal and if you want to learn more try the tutorials for example you can write uh, regular Ruby file and then convert it into JavaScript. So I have this while right here. There's a while statement and it times the start time and the end time. Now if we convert this using Opal you can do it like this, opal.c, while rb. Then we look at the JavaScript. And right here we can see the while statement. There is the time now. rb plus, this code we add plus one. This is the condition for the while statement. And uh, this is the put that prints the time that it took to complete this. And there are other projects on top of Opal, like there is Opal Rails, Opal jQuery, so you can do things with the website. So everything that you can normally do with JavaScript, like maybe changing the color a button, hiding a button, and um, adding content into some kind of container and things like that, or load in uh, from Ajax, load in a new, um, new information, new content, things like that uh, you we use JavaScript for, you can do all of that with Opal and Opal jQuery. And I just found out today about this new project, it's called Hyperstack, and it looks interesting, it uses Opal to let you write JavaScript frontend for your application. So you do everything from with Ruby code like this, and then Opal, we convert this into JavaScript code and React components. So that might be interesting for you if you want something new to play around. It's probably not production ready yet, but it's an interesting idea. Well, that's it for this video. Just something cool for you to play with. If you like this idea of doing everything in Ruby, including the front end, then you might like this. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, click the like button for me so I know that you like it. If you want to keep learning, watch more of my videos now and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.